So welcome everybody to today's Bridges to Better Business program. Today we're welcoming uh, the Economic Development Department from Guelph. So as normal, my name is Angie. I'm the program coordinator for the Business Center Guelph Wellington. And I would like to introduce Stephanie, Curtis, and Peter from ECDIV. Uh, I will leave this in your wonderful hands. If you have any questions, if you're watching on the live stream or whether you're in the room, please throw them in the chat. I will be monitoring both Facebook and uh, our Zoom room. So if you have any questions, we will get to those at the end of the presentation. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, as Angie mentioned, all three of us, myself, Curtis, and Peter, are from the City of Guelph Economic Development and Tourism Department. We're very happy to be here today, and uh, we'll be presenting uh, just a brief presentation to go over some of the work that we do in fulfilling our mandate at the city, and uh, then we'll be allowing uh, a lot of time for questions. We're very um, excited to connect with everyone here today and to provide answers to those burning questions you may have. So I'm just gonna start my presentation now. And uh, throughout the presentation, we will be switching speakers. So there might be a little bit of a pause as we transition between, but uh, we appreciate your patience with that. Here we go. So hopefully right now you're seeing the uh, economic development and tourism slide, uh, just the slide, not my speaking notes. If maybe Curtis could give me a nod there that we've got that view. Excellent. Uh, so as mentioned, we're the economic development and tourism department with the city of Guelph. And then our agenda today will be uh, providing a little bit of an overview of what the tourism department provides. Uh, some of our key programming for businesses, and then just open to questions. So we are currently 12 staff members strong in the divisions of economic development, tourism, and the Guelph Junction Railroad. And our objectives uh, under that broad uh, provision of services is to support the business community across all industries, support tourism destination management and visitor services, to serve as a connection to the business support partners and other levels of government when uh, looking at the ecosystem view of how we provide services to businesses. And most importantly, just to make it easy to do business in Guelph. So the Guelph Junction Railroad is uh, one of our divisions. They are a uh, service that is unique to the municipality of Guelph. We are the only municipality that I'm aware of that owns its own railroad system. So that uh, connects us through the city. Um, it connects businesses with goods and services, and it also contributes to the municipal uh, revenues and overall tax base of the city. And it provides a unique opportunity for businesses along those railway lines. Uh, there are currently 22 direct customers and many more businesses that are served via transloading services with the Guelph Junction Railroad. So if you have any questions about how you can move goods or services along our railroad lines, or um, just finding out what provisions of services in more detail there are, you can always connect with us on that. The tourism services, uh, our tourism division is incredibly busy and uh, helping to support the tourism industry to recover from the recent global pandemic that we're still seeing the effects of. So tourism services uh, build Guelph as a destination for residents and visitors alike. Everyone likes robust services and experiences within their city, and this leads to uh, the wonderful quality of life we have here in Guelph. Some of the key programs that they provide are visitor services, destination development, destination promotion, placemaking initiatives, and then tourism business support. As well, Guelph's tourism industry grows, the businesses and placemaking opportunities expand as well. And a really interesting point to note is that the largest segment of visitors to Guelph do uh, identify themselves as visiting friends and relatives. So hopefully we'll see some great visitors coming for the holiday season as well, connecting with their friends and relatives. 
And then this is where Curtis, Peter, and I sit, economic development. So economic development is a pro programs, policies, or activities that seek to improve the economic well-being and quality of life for a community. And each community has its own opportunities, challenges, and priorities that they pursue in enabling that vision to come to fruition. So some of the key programs that we provide are business retention and expansion services investment attraction, business promotion, and economic monitoring with resources and data provision. So we provide a direct communication channel for businesses to City Hall and are a champion for business in local policy and programming. So we don't make jobs or grow the economy, you business owners do, um, but what we do is we support an ecosystem and provide resources that really do fulfill that mandate of making it easy to do business in Guelph and with the city of Guelph. So I will turn it over to, oh, just before I do that, let's talk about the economic development and tourism strategy. This is one of our exciting initiatives this year. Um, as you may or may not be familiar, Prosperity 2020 was the most recent economic development strategy um, supported and endorsed by council in 2010. That 10 year strategy has come to a close and with a little bit of, um, a jump we're uh, hoping to present to council this new 2022-2026 strategy on uh, December the 6th. So some of the key deliverables for the strategy will be providing the direction and goals for our division and department to work towards, uh, specific industry cluster support recognizing the current economic climate and impacts, and then also provide some performance indicators for how we're gonna be measuring the success of our programming and supports. And then the strategy will be refreshed in 2023 uh, along the lines of the current Statistics Canada census release in 2022. So we can have the most recent data about our community and then a and then, uh, more robust review in 2025 to make sure that we are um, meeting some of those longer recovery needs within the strategy as well, being nimble and responsive to community needs. Um, and then now I'm at the part of my, of my presentation here where I can hand it over to my colleague, Peter, to talk a little more in depth about our business retention and expansion programming. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, business retention and expansion is really the bread and butter of a lot of economic development divisions. It's critical for us to understand the businesses that are here and to help them to grow and to prosper. Um, as part of that, um, we need a, a, a ton of business intelligence. You know, we need to know who you are. Um, uh, what are you doing? What product are you preparing? What service are you providing? When did you get here? When, when do you want to expand? When do you want to grow? Um, where are you? Um, is that site appropriate for long-term development for you? Do you, need, uh, do you need a change? Do you need more space? And, and why did you choose Guelph? You know, that's a big question for us. Uh, are we doing our job to help you grow? Are, are you happy with the services? We need to open up that dialogue and, and continue to grow that. So as part of that quest for additional business intelligence uh, this year, in 2021, we've partnered with uh, the Guelph uh, Chamber of Commerce. And uh, We've got some very specific questions as part of their business survey this year that we're going to use to, to answer some very basic questions. But I think in 2022, we're going to go in a, a much deeper dive and we're going to have a, a city of Guelph survey and we'll be asking a lot of those questions, the who, what, when, where and why questions to build out our database and to be able to understand fully what the needs of all of our existing uh, businesses are and, and how we can support them a little bit better. And, and I think, um, one of the most important parts of a, a good uh, business retention and expansion program is the opportunity for visitations. This certainly is a great vehicle to be able to communicate with people, but I don't know about everybody else, but I'm getting very tired of this. I want to walk into a business, extend my hand, um, introduce myself, buy someone a coffee, and then start a dialogue and, and begin the process of getting to know business a little bit better. Um, Steph and I are new to Guelph relatively, you know, seven, eight months. So being locked up with COVID hasn't afforded a lot of opportunity to get out and really meet people in person. That's part of my personality. That's part of the role of business retention and expansion. And I'm so much looking forward to that opportunity in the future. And that's it for me. Thank you, Peter. 
Um, one of the other uh, amazing programs we have is really a bit more of a network and partnership support. So we have our Grove Wealth Partnership, which is a partnership of 12 post-secondary institutions, business support organizations, and regional ministries that provide services in our area. And what we focus on is ensuring that the business retention and expansion programming can be coordinated across all of those uh, partnering uh, organizations and um, uh, representatives so that we can be really meeting the unique needs of our Guelph businesses here. And one of the areas that we've recognized for many businesses as they grow and scale is uh, looking at the uh, talent that we have in the region and ensuring that you can access uh, the talent needs that your company is looking for, and to do so in a way that also supports our community members to pursue um, a, an opportunity that uh, they find meaningful and supports their uh, quality of life as well. So having that right match for businesses with talent and talent with businesses is rather important as we expand some of our workforce development initiatives across those community organizations and partners. Um, another area of work that this network supports is COVID-19 recovery support, and uh, we are very lucky uh, as a region and as a municipal city uh, within the services of Grow Guelph uh, and our partners there to have a number of unique partners that we work with. Uh, so 10 Cardin or 10C as it's known, uh, Business Center of Guelph Wellington, so we're excited to be able to partner on this initiative with the building Bridges to Business uh, presentations, as well as many others, um, the Career Education Council, Conestoga College, uh, the Downtown Guelph Business Association, the Guelph Chamber of Commerce, Innovation Guelph, uh, the Local Immigration Partnership, the Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, Ontario Center of Innovation, uh, the University of Guelph, and the Workforce Planning Board of Waterloo, Wellington, and Dufferin. And when we work with all of these partners in this unique setting, we can really leverage the skill sets and the unique opportunities uh, and touch points that each of these organizations have with our businesses. So um, in specific to the COVID-19 recovery support, I wanted to just um, mention that Innovation Guelph has a small business funding webpage that still provides incredible uh, connection points to the funding that you may as a business still uh, be looking for or want to connect with as well as uh, ourselves uh, here at the City of Guelph Economic Development team can help make those connections uh, too. So please do reach out if that's an area of support that you're still looking for. And then uh, just to close off with another suite of programming we have, I'd like to turn it over to Curtis Wells to talk more about our Guelph shops. Thank you, Steph. Um, so I'll just be chatting a bit about Guelph Shops, our shop local program. So you may have already heard about Guelph Shops, but in its simplest form, Guelph Shops is a campaign that encourages shoppers to support local businesses. Um, so the, the interactive platform provides links to support local platforms such as the downtown Guelph Shopping and Hey Local, among others, and a directory of local businesses categorized by type. Uh, Guelph Shops was launched on July 16th, 2020, in partnership with the Guelph Chamber of Commerce and University of Guelph. Um, and we've been having some great success ever since the launch, and which is um, why we are continuing with it beyond the pandemic and beyond recovery. Um, Guelph Shops was recently uh, awarded an international award from the International Economic Development Council uh, Awards of Excellence. Um, so that was nice to see that we were uh, recognized on an international scale. Um, with Guelph Shops, while we try to encourage shoppers to support local businesses, we also, within our initiatives and our advertising, aim to keep our advertising dollars and our print dollars um, with Guelph vendors and Guelph businesses to ensure that dollars that we're using are staying in Guelph as well. Um, right now, we have, some, uh, we have an upcoming 2021 holiday campaign um, that'll be uh, launching in about mid-November, so we encourage you to look out for that. I won't reveal any of the secrets, but there it is a very exciting campaign, so look out. Um, we've also been featuring Guelph businesses through our Guelph Shops business spotlight profiles, which are completely free of charge. Uh, we write them as the city, 
Um, we work with the business to ensure that um, the profile matches what they're promoting and to ensure that everything is accurate. Um, so if you are a business that is interested or you know of a business that's interested in uh, being featured in this free opportunity, uh, please reach out to us directly through bizinfo at guelph.ca. That's B-I-Z-I-N-F-O at guelph.ca. Um, we also spotlight businesses through our newsletter, which is, again, another free opportunity. Um, so you can subscribe at guelph.ca backslash MYB. Um, and that's a monthly newsletter, as well as special bulletin emails within or um, between the monthly newsletters. Uh, that include the most recent business profiles, as well as business news, funding, events, and more. And we aim to share some of the um, exciting opportunities that our Grow Guelph partners that Steph had mentioned previously. Um, we, try to, we try to share their opportunities through there as well. And we also have ongoing uh, promotion through uh, social media. So uh, we are active on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and we use the hashtag Guelph Shops. So if you want to share a local purchase or share your local products, we encourage using Guelph, uh, the hashtag Guelph Shops. And if you're active on Instagram, our Guelph Shops Instagram account is at Guelph Shops. Um, so please, we encourage you to follow us. Um, and that's a bit about Guelph Shops. So if you have any questions, um, I'm happy to answer them after. Or if not, you can always uh, reach out to us through our um, bizinfo at guelph.ca email. And I'll pass it back to Steph. So thank you. So short and sweet, uh, we've reached the end of the formal presentation uh, and hopefully uh, you've learned a little bit about us, a little bit about our perspective and focus on how we can support the mandate that the city has uh, initiated for the division of economic development, tourism and the Guelph Junction Railway. And I encourage you to use these contact us uh, information to reach out to us. Uh, we are always available, um, uh, each of us having a unique background of experience and expertise that can help with your business growth and scale goals. And uh, if there's any questions about how to access services within the city of Guelph, we can also be your point of reference for those questions and make sure that you get connected to the appropriate department or service for your needs. Uh, so with that being said, I'm sure uh, Angie can also help us in uh, getting this contact information out to those who are uh, who had registered and uh, you'll receive a copy of the presentation as well. Um, but I also encourage you to, uh, if you missed anything, check us back out. I know Angie's posting the video and uh, that'll be really great there. Uh, so without any further ado, I guess we transition over to questions. So thank you. So I don't currently have any questions in the comments, but if anybody does have a question um, that would like to ask, now would be a good time. If not, uh, what I'll do is I'll give everybody a second. And if not, what I'll do is I'll turn off the recording and the online stream. Um, and we can also have another conversation with just those who's in the Zoom room, because I know that sometimes is a, an issue. So before I do that, uh, I'll double check that there's any questions. If anybody has any questions, comments they would like to have for ECDEV, please do so. Do this like little, wait a second. OK, so we're good. Um, so. Thank you, Stephanie, Peter, and Curtis um, for coming today. Uh, thank you for everybody who's watching uh, either the recording or on our stream. If you do have any questions following this, and it does happen, uh, you're sitting at home going, oh, crap, I should have asked these questions. Please do send me an email and I can connect you to uh, Stephanie, Curtis, and Peter um, to answer your questions after the fact. So that's success at wealthbusiness.com. And you can do that at any time. You can also send us messages through any of our social media platforms, being I will manage all that as well. Um, so thank you again for everybody who's been attending our bridges. We have a couple more days left, but we do have all our November programming up and available as well. So do check those out. Always new things coming out every week.